Well, let's play two, a double header. And for the second time this week, we've got a Kamar Rocker Jack Leiter double header. We are ready to play Kamar Rocker to Kalen Puckett. Fastball strike. And we ride. Up pitch in during the review. First pitch to Will Mize, hitting the air to left field. Jack Bolger on the move, misjudged it, and that's a base hit. Will Mize, a one out single. Short as the 3 1 comes home, and another high fastball. Here with some of the weather that we've had. Runners going, throw to second. Both of them are safe, but they got him on the overslide. Elian Marejo couldn't hold second on the wet turf. It rained for about an hour and a half leading up. It's thrown right into that starting position. And as Tim Corbin said, just needs some extra reps. And In game number six, runner going, ball four. Two walks to the first three batters by Dylan Metella. Another 0-2. Left field. Josh Smith goes back, off the wall, into the notch of the monster. Bolger scores, Keegan stops at third, and Vandy's got a 1-0 lead on Parker Nolan's RBI double. Great piece of hitting from Nolan. I mean, both Keegan and Nolan, very similar approaches at the plate, not trying to do too much. It's just a fastball on the outside corner. I think it might have even been a ball, but does a good job staying with it. Get some good backspin. I mean, just kept flying out. I mean, almost went out of left center. Had some good carry to it. Commodore's able to score. I think key clear in this bottom of the first. Line into left field for a base hit. Both runs score, and it's 3-0 Bandy Boys. Great piece of hitting there by Rodriguez. Went up there hunting the fastball. Didn't take any swings at stuff off the plate. Finally gets one. Looks like that fastball just kind of ran right back over the middle of the plate. And Tim Corbin wheeling everybody home. Commodore is able to put up a crooked number here in the bottom of the first. Key. Four pitch walk. Third walk of the inning to go with a couple of run scoring hit. Soft chopper to short. Cheney mishandles, almost got it to second on a bounce, but everybody's safe. The Panthers nearly lucked into a third out there, but full count pitch. Hit in the air. Right fielder Pearson on the move towards the bullpen, and he makes the catch in foul ground. 3-0 Commodores, but it could have been worse. Mat Called strike three. Three straight strikes, and Rocker's got his first punch. Runner going, throw to second. Got him! Short throw, but Colwick handles the hop, and both innings have ended with a caught stealing at second. Old Walker Bueller start day jerseys sticks in my head. Grounder to third. Puckett for the second time this week takes an ending ending force at third. So it took a while, but Vandy puts the ball in play in the bottom of the second. Good it was. It's just implausible. Called strike three. Rocker dotting the low and outside corner for his second straight strikeout. Something underneath the bats, but that's his, his strikeout pitch right there. Is a slider. I'm not sure where Abud was going. Is that thing just now? Right back with the slider, and Kamar Rocker strikes out the side in the top of the third. Fastball, slider, cutter, and everywhere in between. Kyle Hilt takes the fastball. Abood, that's a strike. And then Kalen Puckett, half swing at the slider. Three. Out to left. Tater for Tater! Tate Colwick to the deepest part of the monster makes it 4 nothing Commodores. Now, I said three runs wasn't going to be enough. We'll tack on another one. Tate Colwick says, I hear you, Andrew, and I'll just take this pitch way over the monster. I mean, that was a no-doubter. Fastball up in the, the zone. I mean, that was one that both Colwick and Horton knew right off the bat. He saw Horton kind of just put his head down. An absolute blast from Tate Colwick. Second. And wanting to just play some baseball. 
Horton strikes out Keegan on three pitches, and that is it. For as was the shortstop, now he's the shortstop, and he hits one up the middle. Young taps second, throw to first, double play. Pitcher's mound to Carter Young to Dom Keegan. Innings together. Out to left center. Ponder on the move. Can't make the play. Rodriguez has extra bases, and it's a double. 3-0 to Colwick is well outside, ball four. So Vandy hoping for no lightning in the sky later today, but maybe he's coaching staff. That hit him. Bradfield's on on what would have been ball three. 3-1 three pitch. Bounced in, ball four. Five-nothing Commodores, and Cook has thrown just one strike to his first two batters. Yeah, it looks like Cook is in some pain. That Alas with the sacks full. Bolger to center field, got a bit under it. Ponders there for the catch, and Georgia State is out of the fourth. A one. Line to left, towards the wall, and off the wall. Bolger plays it, and Josh Smith has a double. Third hit against Rocker in the game. Georgia's full count pitch from Rocker. Ball four, ponders aboard. Back-to-back -back base runners. With the 2-2. Called strike three. He loves that slider up and into righties today. Yeah, it's a Another 0-2. Called strike three. Kamar Rocker's through five for the first time in 2021, and he is fired up. Six strikeouts, including probably his last two batters of the day. Expects two over the summer. The Cape League did not play because of COVID. He lines that one out to left for a base hit. So Keegan keeps on rolling. He's been on base 13 of his last 16 times up. Goodness. It's actually the same summer league he played in going into his freshman year. Nolan tattoos this one to right center. Up against the wall. Keegan was running on contact. And he scores. RBI double for Parker Nolan, and it's 6-0. And Nolan didn't have the greatest opening weekend, but the past few games, he has really turned it on, put some good swings on the ball. There's a fastball in the lower part of the plate, went down and got it. And Keegan did a really good job seeing that ball was in the gap. He realized it wasn't going to be caught, and he just turned on the burners and didn't really look back. Got a little help from Tim Corbin waving him around. A good base and run in there. Commodore is able to tack another one on. He snuck a look or two in there. <laughs> Parker Nolan's fired up. Been in the outfield, start to ride out of the field. Grounder to first. Moreo has it. Flip to the pitcher. Kern for the final out. Vandy gets one more. Dom Keegan singles, and Parker Nolan doubles him in. Coach, Coach Chris Hamm, and stuff starts to really click for him. Freshman on freshman, Pearson slaps a single the other way for his first hit since he was three for three on Friday. Missed inside. 3-1 to Ponder. Ball four. They're loaded with one out, and the Panthers have a chance to make a little noise here. 1-2 pitch. Chops softly to Young. One out at second. Takeout slide at first, or at second, excuse me. And two runs score here if this stays. I don't think we had any call on the slide at second. As long as that slide is into the base, it is clean. Yeah, I was going to say, it did look like a clean slide. It was a good collision, but it did look like the slide was directly through, actually a little bit towards the, the back side, towards Colwick. Two runs score. Was more natural. Nothing natural about that. And Nick Maldonado strikes out D'Angelo Abood to end the inning. He got on two and a third after coming in unexpectedly when Tyler Cook was hurt and he hits Carter Young in the shoulder. 0 2 to Nolan. In the air, left field. Smith backtracks towards the notch. Gone! Parker Nolan's first college homer is an opposite field shot. 8-2 Vandy. In a very, very similar spot. 
that he had that double back in the fifth. This time it continues to ride out of here. A heck of a swing from Parker Nolan. Take a look here. Fastball on the outside corner just goes down and gets it. And that's when you see the strength in the hands. I mean, that just looked like a normal pop fly, but got some good backspin on it, stayed on it, and just rode out. And Commodore is able to plate a couple more. See Parker Nolan jacked up. Thomas is Vandy's active career home run leader. This one ain't a home run, but it's pretty good into the left field corner. One out double. One of the greatest. Colwick lines that one to right. Pearson on his horse. Can't make the play. Thomas scores easily, and Colwick's on the run. Safe at second. 9-2 Commodores as Tate Colwick drives in another. A heck of a day for Tate Colwick. Had an absolute bomb. The bat before this time goes the other way. Gets the spray chart busy. I thought this had a chance to get out there. I think some of the wind might have locked it down a little bit. But does a good job getting back, getting that right hand back in underneath the tag. Behind Bradfield, that's ball four. Colwick goes to third. It's first and third with two down. Fourth, a single up the middle last time in the sixth. Back pick to third. Colwick's out of for playing kickball. And I believe Bradfield took second there. Yeah, he did. Hard grounder, pass pocket into left field. One run in, Bradfield scores untouched. 11-2 Commodores on a two-run single for Gonzalez. The second time in a row, Gonzalez has done a really good job just staying with those pitches. This time a little bit further over in the six hole. Previous about he hit one right back up the middle, so keeping the ball low on the ground is using, you never know who's going to be available. Grounder to second, Abood handles. On to first for the out. Vanderbilt adds five more. Take no longer zeros through three and a third innings. Young slide, steps on second, throw to first. Got him. Carter Young making another great double play. At two hole, he's been in every inning of every game this season, and he smokes this one to right. Look out on Perry Wallace way. Carter Young crushes one to make it 12-2. Yeah, Carter Young had the error. He said, you know, I don't really like that. I'm going to turn in a sweet <laughs> double play and then gets his first crack. He's a fastball and just absolutely demolishes it. Was right on go. Actually, I think he hit the flag. He did. Is that way, Selman out there? I think it was. I think it was way over the field or way over the stands. In the air to right, Cal Hewitt backtracks. Bandy boys win. 12-2 to start the doubleheader, and Kamar Rocker is 2-0 to start his junior year.